Welcome to the SCORE webinar designed specifically to discuss the impact of Google AdWords can have on your business. My name is Virgil Dismeyer, and I am a SCORE business counselor in the Minneapolis chapter. I will be serving as your moderator for today. First, some housekeeping. We will take questions at the end. All the phones will be muted. So if you have a question, please type it into the chat window so that we can address everybody's concerns when we come to the question and answer period. Our presenter today is Jenna Nelson, who will now introduce herself. Thank you, Virgil. I'm Jenna Nelson, and I am the Marketing Coordinator at Veritas Marketing. We manage pay-per-click programs on Google AdWords and other search marketing websites for several clients. We are very active with the SCORE organization as a vendor, client, and volunteer. We are currently managing the Google AdWords program for one of the Minnesota SCORE chapters. If set up and managed correctly, pay-per-click or PPC advertising is an effective advertising option. It can be very cost-effective and has a high return on investment. All pay-per-click options allow you to set a budget and offers results that are easily measured. Today, you will learn the benefits of implementing a pay-per-click program. We will show you each step from setting up your account to writing your ads, as well as how to optimize individual settings that will generate high-quality website visits. There are many pay-per-click options available. Today, we will be using Google AdWords. Other, in sources, other sources include Yahoo, Bing Ads, 7Search, and Amazon product ads. LinkedIn and Facebook also offer pay-per-click advertising. These pay-per-click vendors allow you to manage the program on your own. However, it can be complicated and requires ongoing adjustment to get the best results. You may decide to hire someone to set it up or manage it for you. Vendors that provide pay-per-click management services include local marketing consultants, network solutions, Trata, or Orange Soda. As mentioned, today we will be using Google AdWords. Google is the most widely used search engine today. Google is your one-stop shop for advertising on Google, as well as on other websites. Google AdWords has a large network of other websites that sell ad space on their websites. Using Google AdWords allows you to connect and incorporate the use of other Google services, such as Google Analytics or Gmail. The program is used by Minnesota Score Chapter. Visit the SCORE Minnesota Learning Center for other topics. With Google AdWords, your business has the opportunity to reach prospective customers. You decide where the ad will appear in regards to certain websites and geographical areas. For example, if you run a flower shop near Minneapolis, you can set your ad to appear to customers in that area. When someone in that particular area searches Google for flowers near Minneapolis, they could see your ad and then connect to your business. Google AdWords utilizes cost per click bidding. This means that you are only charged if someone clicks on your ad. You are able to decide the amount you are comfortable spending. The effectiveness of Google AdWords speaks for itself as the ads reach 80% of Internet users in the United States. If you already have a Google email or Gmail account, you can log into the Google AdWords right away by selecting, I have an email address and password that I already use with Google services. Then enter your email address and password. If you do not have an account with Google, select, I do not use these other services. And then enter an active email address and a strong password. <coughs> After you enter the CAPTCHA security text, hit Create Account. Then select your appropriate country and time zone and the currency you wish to use. When you have selected the appropriate option, click Continue. Check your email for the verification email. Click the link that is provided in the email to activate your account. It's a good idea to plan ahead and determine your campaign structure and keywords prior to entering the information into the Google AdWords online editor. The right keywords are an important part of creating your ad program. 
They are the words and phrases chosen by you that can trigger your ad to appear. To develop keywords, select the tab entitled Tools and Analysis, and then select the Keyword Tool. If you are not logged in, go to www.googlekeywordtool.com. You do not need to be logged into your account to use this keyword tool. There are spaces to enter the word or phrase that you think someone may use to find your company, products, or services in a Google search. Choose keywords that your customers would use in a description of your products or services. This tool also allows you to generate ideas for ad groups. Whether you are looking for keyword or ad group ideas, the process is similar. If you're looking for keywords for an existing campaign and ad group, select your campaign and ad group at the top in the light green boxes. Once you select an existing ad group, any existing negative keywords will load in the exclude terms area on the left. You can also add negative keywords in the box available. Above the exclude items area is a place to enter terms you want included. There are also several advanced options and filters, including location and languages, technology platforms such as computers, mobile devices, and others. Experiment with all of your options. On the left side, you can also select broad, exact, or phrase match. We recommend using only exact or phrase matches to maximize the quality of your clicks. After the search button is selected, Keywords related to the term or website address you entered will appear. The keyword tool will show you which words generate the most traffic, both globally and locally. It will also show you the level of Google AdWords competition for each keyword option displayed. Once the search button is selected, a variety of search term options will appear on the lower part of the page. To maximize the quality of your program, avoid one word keywords. They are generally too broad. Click the box in front of each search term that you find is a good fit. These check keywords are now under saved ideas on the left. If you are signed into your account, you can also select My Keyword Ideas from the Add to Account button just under the Keyword Ideas tab. It will ask you to select the appropriate campaign and ad group for the keywords. With any business, watching the competition is vital. To find which keywords rank high for your competitors, enter their website and search. Negative keywords are terms that will prevent your ad from being activated by a certain word or phrase. When you're on the Keywords tab of a campaign or ad group, negative keywords are at the bottom under the positive keywords. You can add keywords on an ad group or campaign level. For example, let's use the word free as our negative keyword. If your product or service is not free, you most likely do not want your ad popping up for people who are searching for a free product or service. These keywords help ensure that your ads will only appear to people looking for what you're offering. This improves your click-through rate, reduces your average cost per click, and increases your return on investment. A well-organized campaign improves the effectiveness of your ads. It also allows you to target different products or messages for different target audiences. Campaigns are the main categories, and ad groups are for subcategories. The best way to show you is through this example. Let's say we have a bakery. People can come into the bakery and purchase baked goods that are pre-made. We also provide custom baked goods, such as wedding and special occasion cakes. In this scenario, we would have two campaigns, bakery items and custom baked goods. These campaigns are the green boxes on the right side of this slide. Then we have several ad groups under each campaign. For bakery items, we might have cookies and brownies. These are illustrated as the blue boxes on the right. Each ad group has several keywords and several ads. For example, again, under the ad word are under the ad group for cookies, you may have ads and keywords for sugar cookies, monster cookies, ginger snaps, and so on. The ads are the gray boxes on the right. The keywords would apply to all the ads under one ad group. 
This campaign, ad group, keyword, and ad structure allows us to organize our program several ways. Maybe your business offers products globally. You may need to have a campaign for German and a separate one for English, and so on. All the ad groups and ads under each of those campaigns would be in relevant languages with location settings appropriate for each. Once you have your program structure identified, it's time to think about the ads that will fall under each ad group. It's important to remember that your goal is not how many clicks your ad receives, but how many quality clicks it receives. Use keywords or phrases in your ad from the terms you identified using the keyword tool. For each ad you write, select the keywords that will generate the most quality traffic for your business. The advertisement you write should include a few of the keywords that are closely related to each other. Phrases of two or three words work best. For example, let's go back to the bakery. If you are writing an advertisement for your ad group of cookies, find your keywords such as snickerdoodle cookies, sugar cookies, and chocolate chip cookies. Write your ad using those keywords. Text ads include a headline and description. Headlines are limited to 25 characters. You get two description lines with a maximum of 35 characters each. Also identify the appropriate destination URL for each ad. If your website has a specific page for each type of service or product, link your ad to the appropriate page. You can also designate specific destination URLs for keywords. These will override the destination URL for the ad. We recommend generating your keywords and ads in Word or a similar program before you put them into your Google AdWords account. This allows you to think it through and to also check your spelling. Before we show you how to execute all of the steps to set up your Google AdWords program, let's discuss the management options. There are two editors available to manage a Google AdWords program. One is a desktop editor, and the other is an online editor. Once you get comfortable with Google AdWords, we encourage you to download the desktop version. It offers more flexibility and time savings and allows you to work offline and make bulk changes. You can copy and move items between ad groups and campaigns, and it also allows you to circulate proposed changes for feedback from others. But for this webinar, we'll use the online editor. Now that you know the essentials of the process, we will show you how to execute all of these steps. The first time you create an ad campaign, AdWords will guide you through the process. Think about who your customers are, where they are, how much you want them to spend on your campaign, and what results will equal success for you. After logging into your Google AdWords account, click Create Your First Campaign. If you've already added a campaign and want additional campaigns, select the Campaign tab and click on New Campaign. On the Campaign Settings page, you will refine your settings to accommodate your budget, needs, and goals. Use this page for all of your settings. Campaign settings include locations, languages, schedule, demographics, what devices your ad will be displayed on, and more. The network settings determine where on the Internet your ads will show. Ads can appear on the Google Search Network, which includes Google and other search partners, or Display Network, or both. The Display Network includes alternative websites that display Google's ads, such as The New York Times, Merchant Circle, About.com, and others. We will discuss this setting later in the webinar. For now, we will focus on the Google Search Network. As with any marketing tactic, cost is a huge concern. Your budget should be an amount you're comfortable spending per day. Your bid is the most you're spell willing to spend per click. Remember, you only pay if someone clicks on your ad. Budget options are located in your campaign settings. Select the bidding option and enter your bid. For budgeting, enter an amount to spend on your campaign on average per day each month. You can change any of your settings at any time. 
A simple method for determining your daily budget is to divide the total monthly budget by the number of days per week that your ad will appear in that month. For example, if your budget is going to be $200 per month and you want your ad to run for 20 days, your budget will be $10 a day. Keep in mind that you may have to set your ad to only run 20 days a month. This is a good daily budget number to start with. Be sure to monitor your program regularly to ensure that you're adhering to your monthly budget amount. You may need to adjust it up or down to best meet your desired results. On the Settings tab, Google AdWords gives you the option to decide when you want your ad to appear. If you find that your business generates the most business during the daytime hours, you will not want your ad to display at midnight. If you are not open weekends, you may want your ad to show up only Monday through Friday. Each campaign can have its own settings. So if you have more than one location in different time zones, you may want a different campaign for each location. Ad extensions are additional business information that gives your potential customers more incentive to click on your ad. It can include your address, your phone number, more links to individual website pages, or additional product or service information. It appears with the ad on Google.com. Including extensions does not increase the cost of each click. Ad extensions are set in the campaign settings under the Ad Extensions tab. Choose an extension based upon the action you want people to take once they see your ad. A popular choice is a telephone extension. If a customer is searching on their smartphone, they can click your extension to call to your business. In the example above, the business chose to include extensions for different links and pages on their website. Clicking the Print Design extension connects the audience to the Print Design page on their website. Ad extension clicks are tracked in AdWords so you can see which ad extensions are generating the most clicks for you. Now that we have shown you how to set up your account, how to create a campaign and select keywords, let's execute a campaign with a step-by-step -step process. We will now create an ad group with keywords. Click on the Ad Groups tab next to the Campaign tab in the online editor. Then select the New Ad Group button. It will first ask you to select a campaign. Then you can click Continue. Enter the name of an ad group that we determine as part of the pre-planning process. Now you will be asked to create an ad. There are several ad types. As discussed previously, you can create image and display ads for display networks. For now, we're just going to focus on text ads. Select text ad under create an ad. It is also the default setting. Enter the headline, description, and destination URL or website address. Reference the ads and keywords that we prepared in the planning phase of this exercise. As discussed earlier, headlines are 25 characters in length, and the description includes two lines that are each 35 characters long. Highlight what makes your business, product, or service unique. Include prices and promotions, Incorporate a call to action, such as click for a coupon code. Include at least one of the keywords we developed in our pre-planning phase. Enter a destination URL to your website that brings the visitor to relevant information. You may even need to create a new landing page for an ad. You'll want to develop more ads for each ad group later. Be sure to test different ads. Scroll down on the page where you entered your ad. Fill in 10 to 20 keywords to start. And remember, we're interested in quality, not quantity. Use only exact or phrase match settings for keywords and avoid one word keywords to improve the quality of your clicks. You can also add keywords using a spreadsheet. The estimate search traffic button will show you the average cost per click and the number of clicks for the selected keywords. 
enter your maximum cost per click amount. This is the maximum you are willing to spend for each click. We'll show you how to set individual bid amounts next. When on your Keywords tab, either in an ad group or campaign, review the estimated first page bid to, max, to your max cost per click bid. You can customize the columns that are being viewed under the Customize Columns dropdown. This is helpful in giving you a snapshot of important information related to individual keywords. Be sure to show the estimated first page bid, the max CPC, average position, and quality score. The estimated first page bid amount approximates the cost per click bid necessary for your ad to reach the first page of Google search results. Being on the first page is important to your ad success. You can modify each cost per click for each keyword a few different ways. For efficiency, we recommend setting up an automated rule to raise your bid to first page cost per click. You'll get an email every time the bid is raised. Periodically monitor the cost per click for your keywords. The estimate is based on the quality score and the current advertiser competition for a specific keyword. Also, the, key, the quality score is very important. Improving your quality score can lower the cost per click. It's an estimate of how relevant your ads, keywords, and landing pages are to the person who sees your ad. Earlier in this webinar, you set up your network under the campaign settings. We chose the Google Search Network. The other option is to select the Display Network, which is a group of Google partner websites and mobile apps where ads can appear. This can include your favorite news websites, such as NewYorkTimes.com or your Gmail account. The Display Network allows you to reach a wider range of customers. It also lets you choose where your ads appear by selecting certain types of pages or websites. The display network allows you to use ads with images, video, and animation, which can enhance your ads' overall appeal. If you decide to use the display network, you may want to start a new campaign for it. You can also utilize two campaign setting options to effectively reach your target. Select either the broad reach method or the specific reach method. Alternatively, you can choose specifically where you want your ads to appear. Use the placement options to help you review your options. Once your campaigns, ad groups, ads, and keywords are set up, Google will offer ideas for other keywords. Periodically review these. They make it easy to add relevant keywords to your ad groups. Remember to use exact and phrase matches and avoid broad match terms. Before executing a budget suggestion from Google, analyze what that will do to your monthly budget and plan accordingly. Google AdWords is a robust platform. For this reason, we're not able to review everything in one webinar. Use the help feature in Google AdWords to explore more options. Periodically, a representative from Google may also call you to help you maximize your account. Take advantage of this opportunity. They will show you something new each time they call. AdWords will show you the data based on a selected date range on a campaign, ad group, ad, or keyword level. This data includes the total number of clicks and impressions. Impressions is the number of times your ad or keyword appeared in search results. As you hone your program, the click-through rate, or CTR, should improve. The click-through rate is the percentage of clicks received based on the total number of impressions. When you're on the Keywords tab in a campaign, select Keyword Detail All. This report will show you what users typed in to the search engine before they clicked on your ad. This helps you refine your program and add to your negative keywords list. You can also download this report. Once the report has been downloaded, it can be accessed under Reports on the left side. There are many other report options directly in Google AdWords. If your website has a Google Analytics account, link your Google AdWords account to it. In addition to other information, 
This will help analyze where people go once they reach your website. And knowing this can it help improve your ads and your website. Analytics tracks all traffic that comes to a website, such as the number of visits and how long they stay on each page. It tells you where people decide to leave your website and what parts of the website are most visited. To link the accounts, sign into your Google AdWords account and select Google Analytics from the Tools and Analysis menu. Click Admin at the top form of the Admin menu. Select the name of the account you would like to link to and then click Data Sources. Select the Linked Accounts option and click Continue. Now that you know the basics of using Google AdWords, create a Google account. A Google account gives you access to several Google services, including Gmail and Google+. Then research which keywords have the highest traffic for your business by using Google's keyword tool. Determine a budget to start and adjust if necessary. Also decide what settings best suit your business, including your schedule, network, and location settings. Measure results continually with Google Analytics and the search term report. Seek help for further direction or answers to your questions. Well, as with any webinar, we're unable to anticipate all of your questions. And Gina has done a good job trying to simplify a very complex topic. I know our chapter uses Google AdWords, and it's not easy until you've done it a few times. And we always ask the vendor to uh, use the vendor's help or support to get technical questions that apply to the provider. If you have general questions, locate your local Minnesota chapter and utilize one of their counselors as your local support. SCORE counselors may not know the details of ad, Google AdWords, but they can help you refine a question uh, and help you find other resources that can help you. On a national level, use the SCORE Find a Chapter feature to find your local SCORE chapter in your community. Finally, we have a special email dedicated to questions that Jenna may not have covered or you did not understand exactly. We will attempt to answer your questions or refer you to the resource which other viewers may have suggested. We will answer your questions only by email or Skype, but we do invite you to use that dedicated email account. And now, uh, as we get ready to close, uh, we find that some viewers have typed in chat questions that we will review now. And so uh, this gives, we gave Jenna a chance to catch her breath, and uh, I'll start uh, reading some of the questions uh, for her to answer. Uh, Jenna, the first question is, is there a guarantee that if I use Google AdWords, it will gener generate sales and new customer contacts? No, unfortunately there are no guarantees, but if you set it up correctly, monitor it frequently, and refine it, you will see an increase in website clicks. Keep in mind, you can pause your account at any time. When the account is paused, your ads won't run, and so Google won't charge you. Okay, and throughout the presentation, you mentioned that uh, a um, person should frequently test new ads and keywords. Uh, how frequently should they do that? Um, I would say at least at least once a week, if not more. It, it does help if you have a person who is designated to check that, just one person that is certified and specified in doing that is best. Uh, one of the feedbacks we've gotten is that this sounds pretty complicated. Are there companies like yours that will do this for a customer? Yes. Many marketing firms and freelance marketing consultants offer Google AdWords, 
or other PPC vendor management. Interview at least three vendors and get estimates along with philosophies from each before making a decision to hire someone. You may also want to check a few of their references. If you do hire someone, be sure to request regular reporting and what they've done to update and refine your program. Well, this question from a viewer has this uh, point of view. Uh, he has a physical store that gains business from the immediate neighborhood. Can he target his ads to a specific zip code? Yes, you can target specific zip codes. You can also select a state and exclude portions of the state that you don't want to target ads to. Okay, uh, here's another uh, question a viewer has, and I don't think you touched on it. Uh, he says, I see ads that have product images in them. How do I set up one of those? This is actually called a product listing ad campaign. You need to manage your product information in the Google Merchant Center in order to incorporate product listing ads. A Google Merchant Center allows you to upload and manage product listings to appear under the shopping portion of a Google search. If you have a Google Merchant account, you'll need to link it to the Google AdWords to take advantage of product listing ads. They just about thought of everything, haven't they? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the final question I think that we have time for is uh, from a lady here. She says, my customers are primarily women between the ages of 25 and 45. Are there gender and age settings in Google AdWords? Yes, absolutely. If you are running ads on the display network, you can target by gender and age. Well, thank you, Jenna. And uh, and for our viewers, if there are additional questions, uh, we again uh, refer you to that dedicated uh, email. Well, as we close, we have a few standard uh, disclaimers that we'd like to make as a score organization. All contact that we uh, can content is strictly for the training of our clients. A SCORE does not endorse any specific vendors, and all vendors discussed in this presentation are for examples only. Screen prints that we have used are for illustrative purposes only. And if you looked at other service providers' screens, they will appear slightly different than what you have seen here. And finally, we have to give credit where credit is due, and we want to recognize these contributors. Veritas Marketing was our topic expert and developed this webinar. Jenna Nelson, as you heard, was our presenter and developer. And this topic needs an expert uh, to understand it fully. We think they have done an excellent job for us in this regard. Google AdWords, through their user's agreement, have allowed us to screenshots of their websites. And obviously, we could not provide these training tools without proper funding. And so we thank Spedco, who has been our funding source throughout our program. And as always, we are also doubly grateful to Veritas Marketing for the technical guidance they give us on all of our Learning Center webinars. This has been a very technical topic, but I think, Jenna, and Veritas Marketing have done an excellent job. We hope that it has been helpful to you. And so with that, we wish you good luck. Goodbye, and we'll see you shortly in another webinar. Goodbye.